Hello, welcome. I'm going to show you some diecast vehicle toy promotions from the 1990s. So I don't have any of the packaging promoting the mailway offers. I do have a couple order forms here though. This one I never ordered. This one is from a Raisin Bran box from Kellogg's. It's showing two McDonald's cars. This one here is for Super Pretzel. This one I do have, it's from Matchbox. I'm not going to open any of these cars in the video, sorry. <laughs> They're all sealed, I've never opened them, I'm just going to leave them that way. And we'll point out, some of the packaging does have damage. This one has some indentations coming out actually. You know, these were just, they weren't mailed always in the best packaging, plus, you know, promotional offers, nothing you can do. You get a damaged one, that's, well, that's what they sent you. This one does look like an actual retail box though, but I believe it was only available through this offer. It required sending two barcodes and $3.99, which is what pretty much all these promotions were like. Get a bunch of barcodes and then pay for shipping. So that's a nice truck. So this is the only Matchbox one. I have one item by Ertl that I'll end the video with. The rest are all Hot Wheels. This one here is from Little Debbie. Little Debbie did a lot of promotions, not just for die-cast vehicles, but other products too, like baseball cards. So, this is a nice set. It has, um, you know, I believe these would be real vehicles, you know, McKee baking used. Little Debbie being a brand of McKee. So, an old style vehicle, and then a more modern delivery truck, and then a transport truck. This one, I think this back piece is plastic and it looks like it's yellowing a bit. White plastic tends to do that. This one, nothing on the back really. Just a few detail, details from 1994. Alright, there is a Series 2. I don't like Series 2 as much. The vehicles are okay, but they don't, you know, fit in as much. I mean, there's a transport truck, you know, that would tow a trailer from a key. But then you have a Little Debbie forklift, which is a little unusual. Yeah, I'm sure they used forklifts in their warehouse, but still not the best tie-in. Then a Jeep, and this one doesn't have the Little Debbie branding. It has Sunbelt snacks and cereals. And this one's from 1996. I believe all of these are from either anywhere between 1994 and 1997. So here is a Kraft Macaroni and Cheese C-Rex Racer. C-Rex was a character that Kraft used in the 90s. I don't know if it used it beyond that or currently. I don't really pay too much attention to Macaroni and Cheese. But see here it says Cheese and Macaroni Treasures. This was like a, a lot of the boxes had items you could order. I don't know if this was part of that like catalog type order or if it was just a, a limited promotion where you had to buy specific boxes, but you could collect, I think they may have just been called C-Rex points and then order things. And this is branded that way, so it probably wasn't one of the items you could cash in your points for. And you can see here is where the milk cap is. It says, you know, free milk cap, so this just pops right out of the packaging. You could use it in a a game like a pog game pog being branded milk caps okay let's see let's go to kellogg's it is a kellogg's character mini car this one here is the cornflakes car and you can see here the different sets of serial characters there's pictures on the back too so this one you know is the uh, guy called Corny for Cornflakes. He's on the side there too. It says his name. And on the back it shows you all four cars. So there's the Tony the Tiger Frosted Flakes car, Snap Crackle Pop Rice Krispies car, and Toucan Sam Fruit Loops car. So there's a bunch more Kellogg stuff in these white boxes is how they shipped them. So these are kind of interesting because you got a couple things going on here. Now this, I mean, this is how I had them boxed. So I assume this is how they were. This set was sold, but it's not completely a matching set. 
So you got three cereals and Eagle waffles. Plus you got two different types of vehicles. You have a Ford Model T and a Ford Model A on the Raisin brand. And there may be a reason for this, which we'll see in one of these single cars. Let's see which one to get out of this box. Okay, this one is the Frosted Mini Wheats. Surprised they didn't put Frosted Mini Wheats instead of Ego, because they need to have four cereals. This one is the Model A. And I noticed something when photographing it. You can't really see it though from this camera angle, because it's going to be sitting like that, but... It doesn't sit well. There's something wrong with this car. It must have been, you know, in manufacturing just built wrong. I can't tell if the tires are different sizes or they're just not put correctly. But basically one tire is higher than the other. So it, it sits in an angle. I don't know what happened there. Alright, so the last one here is going to be another Ego car. Yeah. One second, because I've got a few of these. <laughs> this one doesn't have the slip of paper in it. Let me see. Well, this one has the slip in the plastic. Some of them, I've got a few of these. This one has the, pla the, this one has the, the slip in the plastic. That other one had it out of the plastic. So, this has a message here from Kellogg's. It says... Thank you for participating in the Kellogg's Ego toy truck offer. Unfortunately, our supplier had a manufacturing problem with the Ford Model T trucks. As a substitute, we are enclosing a Ford Model A truck. So I think this is what happened. I think they originally were all going to be Model T trucks. And they must have had a problem with the Raisin Brand truck as well. Substitute the Model A like they decided to do with these individual Ego trucks. So some of these were sold separately. I don't know, like I said, without the packaging, I don't know. Some just gave you a set offer or only a set offer. And Frost and Mini Wheats was separate for some reason. Ego makes sense to be separate because, you know, it's frozen waffles, whereas everything else here is cereal. Yeah, but they must have just had that manufacturing problem with a few different ones. I only got the paper with the Ego ones, though. Alright, some of these may stay in frame, just come running out of table space. Alright, my favorite set is this one. This one is from General Mills in Hot Wheels. So you have five nice cars here. And they're from different decades. One is from the 1950s, one in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and 90s. And the back of the box is nice too. It describes each vehicle. Although, they're not, you'd think they would have put them in order, you know, 50s to 90s, but they're not. They're not in order like they are on the back here. So you have a 1958 Corvette, 1967 Camaro, 1970 Dodge Daytona Charger, 1980 Stutz Blackhawk, and 1996 Mustang Convertible. This is a real nice set. These cars look like they're well designed. I don't know if they sold these separately at all. I can't see any kind of branding. I think really the only exclusive thing you may be getting is the box it does say designer collection so maybe the colors are different than what you'd find in the store okay last item a little different is the box it's shipped in it's actually a, a bank it's not a small vehicle it's a larger truck this one is from a division of Ertl toys And the promotion with Lenders Bagels. So there's a slot for your coins. Just a little, turn this little key here to get your coins out. The wheels are not as nice and they don't move too well in the front. I think it's rubbing against the side here. I don't think they gave enough space. I think the back wheels spin bloody fine, but the front do not. Alright, so that's it for the video. I do have two bonus cars on the blog though. Try to get you to look at the blog. But they didn't fit this theme perfectly, which is why I held them back. One is from 1989 and it's not a food product, but it is a mail weight offer. And the other one's from 2001, so not from the 90s. 
So I'll leave a link to the blog in the video description. Thanks for watching.